What is a line? It is basically a thin straight mark made by a pencil or a marker and it extends indefinitely in both directions. But I can also draw a line like this or like this. It means that we do not have a single way in which a line can be drawn. We just draw a part of a line. Lines are generally named with lowercase letters. This can be called line P or we can draw a line like this and mark two points A and B. This will be called line AB. Line AB can also be written as AB with a tiny line drawn over AB. So what is a ray? A ray starts at one point and goes on indefinitely in one direction. Just like for lines, even rays can be drawn in different ways. What we draw is just a part of a ray. We can mark this point as A and mark a point B somewhere on the ray. We can call this ray AB or write AB with a tiny ray over it. This tells us that the ray starts at point A and goes indefinitely in one direction. It's a bit ironical, but the point at which the ray begins is called the end point of the ray. Here, A is the end point of this ray, which means it cannot be written as ray BA or BA with a tiny ray over it. But line AB can also be written as line BA. We just need to be careful when we are dealing with a ray. Now, let's get to the final concept in this video. Look at what we have drawn here. We can see that it has two endpoints. This is called a line segment and it is a fixed part of a line. This is its specified length and it does not extend indefinitely in any direction. If the endpoints are A and B, this can be called line segment AB. Or it can also be written as AB with a line segment over it. And yes, we can also write this as BA with a line segment over it. A line extends indefinitely in both directions. A ray starts at its end point and goes indefinitely in one direction. And a line segment is a fixed part of a line.